Canada. He's also the advisor to ICE. And joining us today from abroad, we have Ms. Anne Specker. So joining her in, this, in that particular project is Dr. Ahmed Yelov. He is currently the uh, professor at Harran University, Turkey. ISIS is already preparing videos. They've got videos in Ma Malay language and Indonesian. And they do the same as they do all around the world, recruiting by selling their vision of the future and saying, okay, it's a revolution. We have to engage in violence to get there. And these people are going to be coming home as they lose their territory. The ISIS defectors that we spoke to, and we've spoken to 38 of them, we've tried to videotape the majority of them, working with the videos to try to make them into short clips to put back on the internet, to break the ISIS brand, basically, and to say that, in their own words, from the insiders, that it's not the uh, utopian vision that they thought it was going to be. It's not Islamic and it hasn't delivered uh, dignity and justice by any means. I think this is very critical because if others are talking, especially the youth is not uh, going to listen to them. But if someone who recently left ISIS terrorist organization and talking about his um, own experiences, it would be a great and valuable tool for the upcoming uh, recruitments uh, or recruit uh, recruits to think twice before they join ISIS. Again, thank you so much our panelists and of course Anne as well as uh, Dr. Ahmed for your insight. Um, most of the time it's about creating that awareness which Dr. mentioned before and educating the people and basically stopping it before it happens. But of course a big part of it is cyber security as well and, and different frauds that are happening online and uh, you know, transferring of funds online uh, that have to be taken very strong measures, which a lot of the countries are applying now, actually, I believe, including Malaysia. The biggest threat here is how does the money actually get moved? And there are many ways to move it, and these are illegal sources of uh, financiers who are available in Southeast Asia with no regulations on, on control. So the Southeast Asian region will have a tremendous uh, time uh, to counter these threats because the infrastructure to protect the terrorist financing from moving from one region to another or one country to another is very difficult to contain. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thanks, Appreciate it.